Good afternoon, hello, welcome to the Triathlon Dan YouTube channel. Another day of triathlon training, lunchtime run time, doing some intervals today, but firstly, Mark, they've pulled up some uh, some chairs to watch us run. Oh, yeah, I, know, I know we're good, but I didn't know we were that good. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't arrived yet though. And, uh, we're also the um, outlaw advertisement crew today, and Mark very tactfully just said to me in the car park, what did you say to me? Uh, my t-shirt comes up small as well. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks Mark. Cheers. <laughs> I know it's a little bit snug, but I'll get back in it, okay? Anyway, so run session today is 500 miles total of steady running with eight times 30 second hill efforts. Now we do go over a hill on the route, so I'm just gonna use that right, hill to turn around and do those eight 30 seconds. And you're just gonna like walk next to me. <laughs> I'll be jogging, don't worry. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it. I've got a bit of a sore throat. I think I've inevitably caught Liz's cold, but I feel absolutely fine, so I'm going to see how we go. And uh, obviously if it gets any worse, I'll adapt my training as required, but you can't always back off as soon as you get a little tiny something. So yeah, let's see how we go. Hill session done and dusted. I even braved putting this camera down on the side of the road in Loughborough and it was still there when we finished, Mark. Good, news. Good session, that. So I'll put the stats on screen now. The hill was, it's not super steep, but it's steep enough that you don't really run very fast, do you? Or I don't. But it's tough. So yeah, good to mix it up, good to get some strength work done. I'll see you tonight on the bike for some more strength based stuff, I think. What are you doing tonight? Napping? Uh, yeah, probably having a nap when the to bed. Brilliant. No more training for me. No. Maybe one more run, we'll see. I need to get fitter at a faster rate than Mark so that we can train together properly and actually push you. I'm doing everything I can. You are. Good evening. That's a bit bright, isn't it? No bike session tonight. Upon reflecting on my training piece, I don't actually need to do it tonight. I can do it tomorrow. So I think a day off of the bike tonight is gonna hopefully pay dividends. I feel like I'm a bit better than I was this morning out with cold wise. I've only got a very faint sore throat and I feel pretty okay like in myself. So I'm hoping that a restful evening and a good night's sleep is gonna serve me well. Now I'm stood in front of this bike because I've had a, but I don't wanna get too excited, I've had a little bit of success in the last week or two with regards to parts of this bike. So for those that, following my journey with this bike. I love it as a whole, however, I don't love the front end. I think it's the main issue with this is because the stack spacing on the bolts, the bolts are too, too close together. It's about 12 mil apart. Anyway, I've covered that in a longer video. I'm not gonna cover it again. I've managed to source the specific stem that I need for this to make it a little bit longer and so that I can fit, ooh, so that I can fit an aftermarket base bar. And if you can see, because that stem bolts to, bolts to the base bar, you can't just swap it, you have to get another stem. Now, if I got another normal stem, this nose cone wouldn't be able to bolt to it and it's not quite as easy just to like stick it on something because all that moves. But Felts do make a longer stem, which I have now sourced through a bike shop in Wales. I'll share the full details when I get the damn thing, but they were very helpful. Uh, There's actually a bike shop in, where was it? Port Talbot. Um, now, it is £120 for a stem, which is incredible. However, I need it, and it means I can just get a base bar, I can fill around the setup, I can try and get the position a little bit longer without having to have these extenders, and then the money that I'm gonna have saved of not buying a new bike, because that is what I was considering, I think I'm gonna try and get in the wind tunnel early next year, something like that. I do some like fabric testing, helmet testing, that sort of thing. There's not really much I cannot do or want to do to the bike wise, but just do a few things like, you know, where my bottle is gonna be, spares box on, spares box off. That's that sort of thing is what I think I'm going to be able to do. But I'll date you when that actually arrives. What else have I got to date with? I seem to be like um, showing you everything that I buy online. Now this isn't, isn't actually is exciting. What shop posted up that they, we're selling some wheel cover stickers in the Darbados flag, so obviously I uh, got some. They're supposed to be like heat remoldable, so if you stretch them, you can just heat them up and use them again. So, look forward to bringing Darbados to my rear wheel. That's definitely worth seven to ten watts or whatever they claim about everything. Anyway, that is it for today's video. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope your training is going well. 
Has anybody else got any more races this year or is everybody pretty, pretty much done? Let me know down below in the comments and I'll see you tomorrow at one o'clock for some proper triathlon training. Back in the pool tomorrow, my shoulder's feeling all right.